Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dog on Positive Way. And today we're going to be talking about husbandry. I've got a couple of videos that I did with Troy Nation. And I also wanted to give you this breaking news update that there is a tropical cyclone that is in the Gulf of Mexico. And it's probably going to turn into Tropical Storm Alberto. And uh, probably actually today or tomorrow it will turn into a tropical storm. There's already tropical storm warnings that are issued. It's heading towards southern Texas and northern Mexico and Central America. However, the rain bands go out way, way past. Uh, and if you're on the right side of a storm, you get more wind, more rain, you get more of everything. So um, again, even though it's southern Texas, it's still going to arc up. Uh, so the hurricane or the tropical storm warnings are up in northern around the bend in Texas. Um, the other tropical cyc cyclone, I don't know if it's going to turn into anything. We have to wait and see. But it is on the Atlantic side. If it does anything, it's probably going to be hitting like North Florida, Georgia, North Carolina way somewhere in there. But who the heck knows because it's a storm and Mother Nature has her own ideas. So let's get into today's video. I wanted to show you a couple of videos that I did with Troy. And um, and the first video is just um, the first time that I started doing this exercise with him. And the exercise is I want him to place his chin in my hand. Why? I want him to do that because if I need to, you know, check his ears, check his mouth, check anything on his head, especially, or if somebody is behind him, like doing a nail trim or maybe something a little invasive behind end, maybe doing, um, uh, what do you call it? An anal gland expression, which is quite uncomfortable for them, I'm sure. Um, but to have his hand, his head rest in my hand is the ultimate goal. So this is about cooperation. This is about teamwork. I'm going to show you the first video. I might stop it. I might say stuff. I am late in a couple of the clicks and rewards. I'm not worried about that. And the reason why I am not worried about that is that um, I need Troy to, or any dog, to be able to deal with my issues with my hands um, and with my timing. So sometimes I will use a clicker. Sometimes I use a verbal yes. I prefer the clicker. I feel like it has more of an impact on the dog's brain and for learning. Um, but it's just life. And I could send, give you guys a video of everything perfect, but that's not realistic. I don't want people to think that just because I'm a dog trainer that I've got it down pat because that's not true. I learn, my dogs learn, every dog is different, um, even the same breed. They're all different. They all have their different personalities and everybody learns at a different pace. So, um, you know, to me, it just, it doesn't matter that we're doing it this way. You know, um, I think that by showing you guys the reality of it, the reality of what every dog trainer goes through, um, what every person goes through is just more authentic. And like I said, I'm, I'm not trying to come off as some polished person here, some polished trainer. I have been doing this for a long time, but I'm also dealing with my body that's changing as the multiple sclerosis progresses. So, um, and I am going to be talking about chronic health issues uh, whether it's a chronic issue like multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's um, or if you've had any kind of physical in injury if uh, that is going to impact you for the rest of your life, if you've had some type of amputation, if you are paralyzed um, and have to use a wheelchair full-time, paraplegic, quadriplegic, um, this is dog training, but this is dog training for 
people like me that have to deal with these issues, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean people, typical people who don't have MS or Parkinson's or any type of injuries, you know, can't learn, obviously. It's all the same stuff. Um, but the reason why I bring up the chronic illness is because when you have a chronic illness, sometimes you feel like total crap. Um, and I want our dogs to be able to work around our feeling totally just like shit that day or that week. Um, they need to learn how to deal with that. And I'm not talking about turning our companion dogs into service dogs. Um, that's, that's not where I'm going here at all. I'm just going based on the fact of what I've gone through as my body has changed, my relationship with my dogs have changed. Um, everything's different. So I'm taking that experience plus, of course, all my dog training experience and just giving information that you need. Now, say you don't have a chronic illness. Okay, that's cool. Maybe you sprain your ankle or break your leg and you have to be in a wheelchair. You have to be immobilized, something. How are you going to train your dog? How are you going to do certain things with your dogs? So, uh, of course, I want you to do all this stuff when they're puppies. That's why I always talk about future proofing your puppy. And, and the reason why is it's so much easier as you're going to see, it's so much easier to teach them when they're babies than wait until they're older. Troy's 11. So he, he's an old man. Um, and you know, he's already had his social window, all that stuff closed the whole nine. He's very social. But as far as handling for husbandry, he's not real crazy about it. So um, I'm also just want to also say that um, he is not readily offering me a behavior. So you'll see me put my hand up to his chin. You'll also see me miss his chin as he comes right into my hand. So, you know, that's just life. That's just training. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. This is real life. I dropped the clicker um, again because of my hands. So I have a couple clickers just around the table. So I had to go get it. I'm using a verbal marker of yes, which you didn't hear on that one, um, but it was there. He's so cute.
I do. I totally miss it. Maybe a little stress yawn. I'm not sure. He completely missed my hand. However, I marked him with a yes because the top of my hand hit the top of his head, like this area by his eyes, his forehead, I guess you could say. Um, and it's very sloppy. This, And that's how it is in the beginning. When you're training your dog to do a new behavior, I don't care if it's sit, down, you know, some kind of trick or something a little bit more. Uh, detailed like targeting it's okay if it's sloppy we're gonna tighten everything up and you're gonna see the progression um, in the next video It's so cute. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm teaching him to put his head in my hand. Targeting, we've done a bunch of times, different things, post-it notes, sticks, whatever. Back is an Take it not for granted. He's so cute. That's the one I screwed up. He's giving me his paw. I ignore it. He's getting better. Still doesn't know what still doesn't know what the hell he's doing, why he's getting treats, why he's getting clicked. That's okay. I don't care. This is the way clicker training works, like raw form clicker training, okay? But it's my favorite thing in the whole world when training dogs and any animals.
There are balloons in the background, and I don't know why. No idea what that is. Bella just woke up, so we just took a break. Okay, so I did that. Um, I don't know. I think I did that a few days before this video that I'm going to put up. This video I put up. I um put up. I did on Saturday, and the video that you are watching just here was probably done maybe Wednesday. I completely ignored his talk. He's much more focused this time. We're watching TV. I have no idea. Tammy's making us food. I ignore the paw again. He offered that back up and lay down by himself. I deliberately put my hand under his chin and pushed up a little bit, like just added pressure. I went back to the touch. You see that? Real simple. Back up to the thing that he was most successful on prior to the chin rest. That was touching. Why did I do that? Because he kept giving me his paw. There. That's what you want. Back. Tilt a little bit. And that's it, okay? So I ended the session, we ended positive, and that's also important. Any training session you do, I want you guys to make sure you end on a positive note. Um, the other thing that I wanna go over is uh, the biggest reason why, if you ask your dog to do something, uh, let's say you taught him sit and you wanna teach him sit, stay, a simple stay. You teach him sit, he knows how to sit really well. You tell him to stay, he can't hold it together. Go back to just reinforcing the sit. What I did here in this video when he um, just kind of was like, I'm just going to give you my paw, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And he kind of started doing everything. 
I just backed him up to something that he would be most successful with is which, which was the touching, the targeting on my hand. That's all. Putting his nose on my hand or his head or his forehead on my hand. I don't care. He's successful there. So I want him to feel like, hey, this is good. I'm successful. I don't want him to get frustrated. That happens a lot with trainers. We do it all the time. It, it just It's just something that happens because I think we want to just kind of push, push, push a little bit more. But you need to back up, okay? You go too far. Your dog's not responding. Just back up to the last thing they were most successful at. It could be a sitting. It could be targeting. It could be down. It could be back. It could be whatever, except the paw thing. I didn't want him to give me the paw again, obviously, right? So, um... I just want to, again, impress upon you guys how important it is to teach your dogs to be um, able to be handled. They need to be handled. I need my dogs to be handled by the vet, especially now that they're older. More invasive things start to happen as they're older or even a younger dog if they have an illness. Um, and the things that we have to do to our dogs, you know, Bella has a little tumor in the crook of her ear on her top of her head and it bleeds sometimes and the other day it bled quite a lot um and I had to you know clean it and wash it and it took time Bella is amazing she knows how to do all this stuff she's like no problem um Troy is more rambunctious more curious I want to see what's going on here what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. he's all over the place um, but getting him to focus like this with clicker training is a really, uh, effective tool for him. So anyway, be safe with the storms that are out there. I will see you guys next week. If you have any questions or anything at all, please email me, DM me. I'm on social media, Maria Ryan or dog gone positive training um, dog gone positive on TikTok. You can find me. Just put my name in Maria Ryan and you'll find me. You'll recognize me. I'm sure. All right, everybody. It was really great talking with you. I really have a lot of fun just hanging out with you guys once a week. So let me know. Got any questions? Do you have any critiques? You think I'm insane for doing this? Go for it. Let me know. Take care. Bye. Don't forget. Get your hurricane kit together now. Get prepared now. We got storms happening. It's going to be a wild one this year. Bye.